now for the mayor's report. Um, this was a very busy week. I think the classification of this being a part-time job because I think I had meetings every day this week as uh, in my official capacity. Um, I first want to start off, I know the community garden met uh, Thursday night and Saturday afternoon. Unfortunately, I had meetings both days, but I was here on Friday afternoon in your, uh, I guess, models. I don't know what they would be called. Your, your uh, ideas were out in the community room, and I did have an opportunity, thanks to Mr. Davis, uh, for letting me know they were over there. I did have an opportunity to go over there and see, um, and was very impressed with the different ideas that I guess four different groups came up with, um, and excited to see what you actually build. Um, so thank you to the Schultzes for doing that. Um, also want to thank uh, the Brookwood wrestling team who hosted a tournament here in Snellville Friday and Saturday and had me as their guest. As always, it's a, it's a pleasure and it's always wonderful events um, at Brookwood High School. Um, Ms. Sharon Heather Heatherington has made an offer to us on council uh, that she will start arranging for Boy Scouts and Girl Scout troops to come and do the Pledge of the Flag each council meeting. Uh, so if anyone has any uh, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, or Girl Scouts that would be interested in coming and delivering the Pledge of the Flag, uh, please let us know so that we can arrange for that. And if we know in enough time, we possibly can put their troop uh, number on our council agenda. Um, before... It, it, I also want to talk about the Martin Luther King Day March, but before I do that, um, I want to do something I usually don't do. I want to thank the press. I, I want to thank Cammy Young from the Gwinnett Daily Post and, and Joy, um, Joy from the Snellville Patch. Sorry, Joy, and I know you were out of town, otherwise you would have been there as well. But both of y'all, I saw you both out uh, Monday for the Martin Luther King Day March. It was not it was not nice weather, and I think Joy walked the whole way with us and stayed for the service, so we appreciate y'all's dedication to covering the events, and the, especially the positive events that happen in our city, so thank you for giving your day off and coming out there and doing that. Uh, the service uh, was truly uplifting after the march, and I'm, I'm sorry that uh, some of my colleagues couldn't stay for it because I generally had a smile on my face the whole time and was moved uh, by the different pastors that spoke. And uh, I've already talked, uh, Pastor Collins has become a, a friend and advisor of mine. We've already talked about next year growing the event and possibly adding a cookout in between the march and the service. Um, so I look forward to seeing what good things can come from that. And lastly, uh, these past three days, I've spent down in, in downtown Atlanta for the Mayor's Day Conference uh, this morning. I had the privilege of having breakfast with the governor, the lieutenant governor, not myself alone, of course, all the all different mayors, um, and Senator Balfour took time from his busy schedule to come down there and join us, so I do appreciate Senator Balfour doing that. Um, but I've been meeting these past three days with mayors from all over the state of Georgia, and it's been refreshing to see that some of them have some of the same issues that we are facing here in Snellville. Um, so it's always good when you can get together with others that come from similar situations. And also it's good to see that some of them have solutions. And so we don't necessarily need to always reinvent the wheel that we can build upon, upon them. Um, one of the things that I build on in the Mayor's Day Conference, which I alluded to when we were discussing the Mayor Pro Tem, is moving our city forward and unity in the community. Uh, a lot of people asked me what it was like to be elected mayor when I was at the conference this weekend. And um, my response is varied. I think Snellville right now is going through a transition period. And Facebook sometimes is a dangerous thing. Uh, Councilman Emanuel said that we shouldn't let outsiders try to divide our city. And he's absolutely right. Um, if you go on Facebook and you read some of the things that are posted, you can see that there are members of this community and members in our sphere of influence um, that I, what I believe is uh, what I call is they're suffering from grief. They're going through the different stages of grief uh, because maybe the results of the election weren't what they wanted or what they expected. I think that all of us have been kind of caught up in that I got you moment, wanting to catch myself or members of council messing up so they can say, I told you you shouldn't have voted for her. I told you it wasn't the right thing to do. Uh, but that's not what's best for our city. Uh, if we are truly care about this city, then we need to put that behind us. We need to act as a unified commu community, and we need to move forward with what's good for our city. 
I try to do that here tonight, and I want to thank my colleagues for working with me tonight and trying to do and uh, do what's right and to move Snellville in the right direction. So I want to thank all of you, and on a last note, I want to thank the police department, and I forgot the email so the chief can remind me, but um, we did get uh, Assistant District Attorney Richard Arman did congratulate our officers on a job well done for, was it a methamphetamine case uh, where we got a conviction? Was it methamphetamine? We got a conviction out of. Um, so I want to thank those officers and everybody involved in that case. And uh, while I'm talking about things that, you know, there's, there's rumors out there floating all around all the time about the mayor and what I want and what I've done and things like that. Um, the chief does an excellent job, and he is a great asset to our city. Um, I would never want to see the chief leave. I think he is a great leader in our city, and if it was up to me, he would be here as long as he wanted to stay. He would have a lifetime contract. So thank you, chief, for all your hard work. With that, I will open the floor to public comments.